This video is to serve as a quick start guide for those of you who have just signed up for Reporter Suite. So upon login, you're going to see a fairly sparse dashboard, and that's because we haven't inserted any data just yet. Um, we've got our statistics at the top, our recent activity, and then our quick entries over here on the right. But before we can work with invoices or create customers or run reports, the first thing we're going to want to do is head over to the settings location and walk through each of these uh, options here. And we'll go through those now. So the first one is general. And general is going to collect, um, you know, basic contact information. Upon sign up, we've got, you know, your email, first name, and last name automatically populated. But for those of you that are working uh, off of an EIN, uh, you know, if you want a suffix to appear on your invoices when you create them, that's the kind of information that you're going to enter here. Uh, if tax rates are applicable in your area, go ahead and enter your tax here. You enter it once, and then any invoice you create. Uh, that tax will be applied and you can always override that tax amount or even zero it out on a per invoice basis but uh, this way if all of your uh, invoices are, are have a, ha, need to have a tax applied to them you just specify it once and all the calculations are done for you automatically uh, your district and duty station this is what will appear at the top of your invoices uh, company name and website address if applicable um, of course, your mailing address. So, if you uh, you know if you snail mail the invoice, um, uh, or uh, prefer to have all of your contact information on your invoices, which most do, uh, you would enter that information here. Any additional payment terms can be entered below. For those of you that are federal users, uh, the additional payment terms that will be uh, visible within the program uh, by default will be the ones specified by the administrative office, which. You can modify those, uh, although those are the ones that are recommended. Uh, if I head to profile, the profile page just allows you, currently just allows you to uh, add your picture. Um, we've, got, we've got a transcript request form that we're working on, in which case you'll have your own dedicated uh, transcript request form uh, via a link that you can share in your email signature, on your business card, or on your website uh, that will allow you to actually accept transcript requests right from, uh, right from the web. Uh, that functionality hasn't been built out yet, uh, but this is where the majority of that information will go. Under invoicing templates, uh, currently we've got state freelance proofreading and scoping templates. We don't have a federal template because the AO specifies which fields should or should not be visible or, or present within an invoice. Uh, but in the case of uh, official state freelance uh, proofreading and scoping, the fields that a, a end user uh, wants to uh, wants visible varies dramatically based on location. So, for instance, if I didn't need proceeding type or transcript delivered on or the judge hearing the case on my invoices, I could simply deselect that from the right here, and then and then save that. Now, every state or freelance based invoice that I create going forward will not have those fields visible. Uh, and this is the case too for the proofreading and scoping invoices. So configure it once and then every invoice going forward uh, will, will reflect those changes. Over in the rates section, uh, these are your global rates and there's a little bit of a description here but essentially this means that if you enter the rates here you'll always have kind of a fallback. When you create an invoice at any time you can specify custom rates uh, by page, uh, custom rates as a flat fixed itemized fee uh, or even hourly. So there's an immense amount of flexibility in what you're actually billing for within within Reporter Suite. However, the ability to specify your global rates allows you to uh, get in, create an invoice, specify the page count uh, under a particular category, and all the calculations are done for you. You don't have to enter your rate each time. And this is the case with state and freelance, proofreading, scoping, and federal. This account happens to be a standard state and freelance account, so we don't see the federal tab, but all of the AO-based uh, rate categories are in there as well. Uh, if I head to time and attendance, uh, for those of you that for tax filing purposes, general record keeping, uh, or in the case of federal, uh, need to submit your time and attendance uh, either, either locally uh, for your district or, or uh, via ACRA, uh, you can specify custom time categories here. Uh, in addition to attendance cities. So if you have an area that you cover, uh, you can specify cities here so that when you actually go and log them, you don't have to type the city name each time. You just select from 
an available list of previously entered cities. And that's the case with time tracking categories as well. Um, expense categories are very similar. Uh, you define your, your general expense categories. If you're a federal reporter, the AO expense categories will be pre-populated for you at account creation. Um, however, you'll also have the ability to create new categories from scratch. So if you intend on uh, managing your expenses for, for uh, you know, record keeping for yourself and then at uh, tax filing time, um, one of the first things you'll want to do is go ahead and, and just create a few expense categories to start out with. Uh, payments. Over here on the left, if I click on payments, you'll see some verbiage revolving around uh, the fees associated with your payment processing uh, capability within Reporter Suite uh, via our partner Stripe. Uh, the connecting of a Stripe account takes less than five minutes. I'll go ahead and click on this button and show you what that looks like. We have a dedicated video just for this, but essentially it asks you some basic information, including the checking account and routing number. Uh, where your funds are directly deposited after they pass fraud. Uh, Stripe um, claims that there is a two-day rolling period on deposits, although we've seen up to 72 hours, especially if uh, something falls over the weekend or a holiday or something like that. But essentially what happens is when a customer pays for an invoice directly from the link that you provide them, uh, the all of the calculations, the funds are deposited, uh, are, are happened uh, dynamically so that the next time you log into Reporter Suite, you'll see invoice XYZ has been paid. All of your reporting, your dashboard, all of those statistics will be updated automatically for you. You won't have to go manually enter the fact that an invoice had been paid. Uh, so that's that's a pretty nice workflow. Um, if you choose not to have, uh, not to enable payment processing, uh, just leave this section alone. Uh, you can always uh, go back in and, and unbind it at a later time. Um, and future versions of Reporter Suite will allow you to um, toggle whether you want to accept credit card payments on a per invoice basis. But for now, uh, it's accept credit card payments on the invoices you create or, or don't. Uh, and this has logged me out because my session has expired. Let me go ahead and log back in. For security purposes, we... Uh, hold on. For security purposes, we log, if there's been uh, X amount of minutes without any activity, we go ahead and log the person out. I haven't actually created anything or done anything, so it's thinking that maybe I'm away from my away from my desk. So I'll head back in there. Let's see, payments. So we talked about payments. Uh, the billing section is a uh, just an overview of which plan uh, you're on. So in this case, this is a standard plan. For those of you that are state officials uh, or freelancers, um, if you ever feel like maybe uh, down the road you'll you'll uh, pursue a federal official, uh, just let us know and we can convert your account type and vice versa. Uh, if you're uh, currently a federal official and uh, you're going to transition to uh, being a state official or or freelance, let us know and we'll enable those features within within your account. Um, so yeah, that that kind of serves as a high level overview of of the areas you're going to want to focus on first. Once you have that general information in, then you can go ahead and start creating your customers, uh, track time if necessary, ultimately create and manage your invoices. And if you have any questions or anything like that, just email us at info at reportersuite.com. All right, thank you.